What's up guys, we're back with some more Galaxy S21 news. Last time we came to know that there will be no AMD GPU on next year's Samsung flagship, at least first half of the year, but the Exynos 1000 will still be a significantly better chip than the Exynos 990. I really hope that it matches the performance or at least come close to the Snapdragon 875 level and honestly, it has to do it because in case you missed my yesterday video, the Qualcomm Note 20 Ultra destroyed the Exynos model. I've done extreme gaming, extreme benchmarks, a general speed test, even camera differences are there. Definitely do check that video out. So Galaxy S21 might have one feature that could completely change the whole Galaxy lineup forever. If you use a Galaxy S flagship phone right now and you always wanted the S Pen functionality, but you didn't want to buy the Note phone for some reason, I think this could be a big surprise for you. The S Pen has been a part of Note series forever, but that might change because S Pen may be offered to you you as a accessory. Ice Universe tweeted out saying that sporting the S Pen doesn't actually mean that it has a built-in S Pen. Obviously, he is talking about the Galaxy S21 Ultra, which may not have a built-in S Pen, but Samsung might still offer that functionality as a separate accessory. Now, it's really amazing that Samsung can build a phone with a pen inside it, but if you remove the S Pen, there's definitely going to be more room for a bigger battery. According to the leaked battery sizes from a Chinese certification website, the Galaxy S21 aka SM991 has a battery size of 4000 mAh cell. The S21 Plus aka SMG996 gets a bigger 4800 mAh cell which is a nice upgrade from the S20 Plus and although there is no mention of the S21 Ultra, we can expect it to have a bigger battery than the 5000 mAh cell of the S20 Ultra. Next year's Galaxy flagships will be far more efficient because we're going to be having 5 nanometer processors aka Exynos 1000 slash Snapdragon 875 compared to the 7 nanometer chips on the current flagship devices. In my opinion, if Samsung makes the S Pen as an accessory to the S21 Ultra users, then there's actually no reason for the Note 21 Ultra to exist. Giving the S Pen functionality to S series in any way or form shows the end of Note series. This decision could also be because of the S Pen coming to the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Next year, the foldable market will grow from 4.5 million units to almost 8 million units with different brands offering foldable phones, but Samsung is the king right now. They are are already making twice the number of Z Fold 2 compared to the original Galaxy Fold and with the Z Fold 3, the numbers will go even higher to the point that it might actually replace the Galaxy Note series. Again, that is a really hard number to catch up to, but Samsung is pretty confident about its foldable phones. There's a rumored Galaxy Z Fold Lite model coming as well next year, so definitely more foldable phones means that it could potentially replace the whole Note lineup. Also, Samsung is about to bring its third generation 16 GB DDR5 RAM which is said to be 30% thinner and 16% faster than the RAM inside the Note 20 Ultra. It can also transfer a data size of 50 GB in just one second. This new 16 GB RAM will most likely debut on the Galaxy S21 Ultra and from there on we're going to see this coming to the Galaxy Z Fold 3. Also in the news, the S20 FE has been officially confirmed by Samsung. We have official press renders, the name is also confirmed and pretty much all the specs are out. Galaxy S20 FE is actually a Galaxy A91. If you guys remember last year Samsung released a Galaxy A90. It offered a flagship processor and similar stuff as the Galaxy S10 series but probably because of its naming it didn't really sell well. This time Samsung is bringing the A91 as S20 FE. It will have Snapdragon 865 processor for 5G markets which means the UK and Europe will likely to get this processor so if you hate Exynos 990 this is the phone to get. But for the 4G markets, unfortunately, there will be Exynos 990 processor. It will offer a plastic design similar to the Galaxy Note 20, uh, but weirdly, it will have a 1080p 120Hz display, something Samsung didn't do on the Note 20 phone, so essentially, it's gonna completely kill the normal Galaxy Note 20. The camera on this phone will be similar to the S20, which means it's gonna be pretty good. There are a lot of exciting colors, all for rumored $750 price. I wish 
wish this phone was announced back in February because if you live somewhere where you can buy the original Galaxy S20 for like $800, that is still a much better deal to go for. But if you live somewhere where the Galaxy S20 is still costing $1,000, then in comparison to that, $750 is a great price. And obviously in the coming months, the price will go down. And I think it's going to be a really good value phone from Samsung. Now, like the foldable phone, Samsung will be doubling down on its 5G phones as well. In November of this year, Samsung will be releasing its most affordable 5G Galaxy A42 smartphone. It's got some interesting specs like 6.6 .6 inch 1080p AMOLED display, quad camera setup, it's rumored to use the Qualcomm 695G chip. It will be made available in three different colors at official price of 369 euros. This phone is a direct rival to the OnePlus Nord, but OnePlus Nord has a better, higher refresh rate display, better Qualcomm Snapdragon 765 5G chip. It also uses the main flagship camera of the OnePlus 8. So in my opinion, OnePlus Nord will eat the sales of this phone alive uh, definitely gonna be a tough sell for the Galaxy A42. So that's all the latest news. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think it's a great decision to offer the S Pen separately as an accessory? As always, I'll keep you guys updated with the latest leaks and rumors. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.